Welcome to another Better Communications Results. Today, I'm extremely grateful and flattered that I've got sitting next to me, Andrea Matthews, who's the Social Media and Digital Communications Manager at General Motors Holden. Uh, Holdens, as we say here in Adelaide. Uh, topic of some discussion this morning. Um, I'd like to, I'll just spin the, the, uh, the camera around from me uh, and on to Andrea. Hi Lee. G'day Andrea. Hi. Now, um, social media with uh, General Motors Holden, it's gone from leap to leap to leap to leap it in has. terms of that. Yes, yeah, and it's all gone very quickly too. So we've had a focus on social media at Holden for a couple of years. Um, a real concerted effort within the last um, 12 to 18 months. Um, and we're seeing some great results, so we're really proud of the efforts that we're, that we're making. We, we saw from the breakfast that we had this morning the results of, of the Holden Barina um, uh, competition online, uh, Design Your Own Barina Spark. Phenomenal results. Do you want to just quickly take us through those? Yeah, absolutely. So um, this is the results of a promotion that was run by our marketing team. Um, we've, we've actually run it in two iterations. Um, and some of the stats that we presented today included the fact that, that, um, that, we, that the average time on site for the people that participated in that promotion was 42 minutes. So in terms of an engagement, that was a, a great result for us. Um, mm. And really the, the promotion for people that don't know um, is that... Um, People had the opportunity to create a design, um, a virtual design on a Barina Spark to support the launch of the of the car, um, and we had over ten thousand people actually create their own entry. So it was a great result. Yeah, it's a fantastic result. Um, the social media channels that Holden's across, what what are those channels? Um, we focus on the three core channels, um, which probably should be no surprise to anybody: are Facebook, YouTube, and um, and Twitter. Um, obviously, Twitter hasn't got as much penetration as Facebook and YouTube, but it's still very important for us in terms of reaching out to um, to influencers that are on that and that network and, and sharing our communications. Um, Facebook is a is a it, well should be a given for for brands now. Um, we have over two hundred and thirty thousand likes of our page. We're very proud of that, um, and we spend a lot of a, a lot of time and effort in, in kind of kind of working with that with that community. Um, with seventy percent of, of, of Australians registered on Facebook, we kind of have to do that. Um, mm -hmm and it's a great place to, to hang out. Um, and then YouTube as well, we actually have our own channel. Um, we've had a concerted effort since, um, since around about this time last year to really enhance the level of content um, that's on our channel as well as the look and feel. Um, very proud of that, we've got about 1,400 subscribers now and um, we're the, uh, the 18th highest um, ranked director in Australia this month, so um, I think we're going great guns. Yeah, no, that's a fantastic result. Google Plus is of course the new player in town. Um, everyone has sort of done a land grab and gone over there. I, I, I watched Telstra this morning. They've got their own site just saying, you know, content coming. Yep. Um, is, is Holden going to go across and do something yep. on Google+, as Plus? Is, as is very similar, we've done the thing, same thing, we've been watching Google+, Plus um, to see when it was, when it was open for business, for brands, um, and we've done exactly the same thing. Quite how we'll use it yet, I'm not too sure. I've, I've been registered with Google+, Plus since the early days, and to be honest, I'm not a, I'm not a high user at all. I kind of will visit maybe, maybe once a week. Um, it's a time thing as much as as much as anything, um, and also where you know where my time um, from, from Holden's point of view, where my time is best added is, is in those is in those communities that we've got established. So we'll look at what Google Plus um, offers um, and and see what we need to what we need to do there. But yeah, we've done like a lot of other brands. I think we've just kind of done that land grab, and we'll work out um, what we need to do from there. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Um, are are you seeing results um, of of sales uptake? from your social media efforts? It's very difficult to align what we do online with um, with a direct sales result, but what we do see and what's very encouraging is that the people that participate in our community, so that the, 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 the bits that I'm, I'm responsible for, um, are, are, are buying new cars. So we know that there's a lot of Series 2 um, Commodore buyers, we know that there are current cruise buyers that are using our, um, using our communities. Um, and so whether that's a direct result of them being in those communities or part of the marketing mix, it's hard to tell. But um, being such a, such a, a well-known brand and with having such a, such a lot of different marketing and communications things in play, social's one of those things. Can I align a sale to a comment that was made in Facebook? No, nah. no, no, that's fair <laughs> enough. Um, what would you say then, as a final question, um, what would you say then to organisations who are still hesitant about getting involved in the social media space? Yeah, I think it's still really important that the lesson still is is um, to look and to listen and to see where your customers are and where they're interacting before you dive in. Um, Facebook might not be appropriate for every brand. If you're marketing a widget, for instance, it's very, very difficult um, to get interest and likes and, and continue conversation. For Holden, there's a brand that people know and love. 
it's a little bit of an easier proposition. So I would say, look at where your customers are and, and provide value there. Um, I'm thinking a lot about YouTube um, and video content, and a lot of that is because of the stuff that you've been saying over the last 18 months about, uh, about the importance of video. Um, and that may well be that that video might be a great strategy for a, for a company that, that, that sells a widget and, and, and Facebook just might not be might not be appropriate. So I think the lesson still stands. Look and listen at where, to where your, where your customers are. Look at the kinds of conversations that are happening and then tailor a program to meet that. But I still don't, you know, you can't just dive in just because everybody else is there. It still needs a strategy behind it. Mm, absolutely. Andrea, thanks so much for your time you. today. And it's been a wonderful having you back in Adelaide. Oh, it's been great to be back. Yeah. Really good. You need to, you need to come back more often. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you.